Okay, let's try the next coding exercise. So open the leadcode.com and go to the problem section and scroll down. And in the search question, search the single number and hit enter. You could see the problem number 136. It come under the easy category. Click on it. So this is actually an easy question, but a little bit. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's let's first read the question. Given a known em empty array of integer nums, every element appeared twice except for one. Find that single one. So basically, what it, we have given an array, and all the elements are appear as a twice. Twice means like uh, they are repeated as duplicate elements except one element. In the example, in this two appear two times, but one is appear one time. So output is one. In this one appear two times, two appear two times, but four appear only one time. So output is four. In this only one element, that is one. So output is one. So we have some array. Array is given. Some element, like all the element except one element are occurred twice, but we need to find that single element which did not come twice. Right. So how how we will like uh, do the solution? And in this question, it is mentioned you must implement a solution with the linear runtime complexity and use only constant extra space. Just for the time being, ignore this line because first we will find is there any way, either by using extra space or by either by any number of overloop doesn't matter, can we able to at least solve the question or not? Right, then later on we will try to like uh, do as per maybe optimize it. Right, so we uh, so let's see the brute force approach. So, how the brute force approach is so, in the brute force approach, what we can do is we can run a loop from let's put uh, as an example input number is 4, 1, 2, 1, 2. Right, so we can run a loop from 4 to 2 from first element to the last element, and we can we can create a dictionary. And in the dictionary, we can store key as a number and value as a count. So as examples so of one, when we run a loop, so four. So we will check in a dictionary. So in initially dictionary will be empty. So four is in the dictionary, no. So we will add a key in the dictionary and count as a one, then one. If we will add, so example, so how it will come. So we will create a dictionary. So first four will come its value will be 1. Then 1 will become its value will be 1. Then 2 will become its value will be 1. Then 1 will come. So 1 is already there. So we will increase its count. So 2 is already there. So we will increase its count. Now the like dictionary, like sorry, the list has been finished. Now we will run another loop on the dictionary and we will find that key whose value is just 1 equal to 1. And we will return that key. And that that has the like uh, uh, the element which we need to find, which is repeated only once, which is not even repeated, which comes out only single. All right. So let's try to implement that solution. So I'll just copy this. So here they are using sorry, here they are using list. So we need to import. Okay, so what we need to do? We need to create a dictionary. So we need to run a loop for i in num. So we can like uh, either you can put if uh, if i in dictionary or not uh, like that, or or you can actually do this. Temp of i is equal to Temp dot get i comma zero plus one, or you can actually do that. So what it basically doing is, we need to we need to assign we need we need to create a dictionary with key value pair, and key will be that number. So key will be that number, and the value will be value will be the the counter uh, how many times that number comes. So we will pick the first number. All right, so we will pick the first number. So for in the in the starting in the dictionary there is nothing. So we will try to find that number. There is no there is no element in the dictionary. So by default it will return zero. 
and then we will add one because now the one element is there. Otherwise, if if the element is there, then it will find its value and then it's incremented by one. All right. So we will get a dictionary. Then we will we will run a loop key comma value in ten temp dot items. And if value equal to one, we will return that key. Right. So let's try to run that. Let's try to submit it. So solution has been accepted and we beat 83% people and uh, the memory beats 82.95. But in this case, in the question, it has been mentioned, you must implement a solution with a linear runtime complexity. Even though we are doing in the linear runtime, only one loop is like of an air and uh, big of n is here. So two of big of n, only the two is constant. So we can remove the two. So only big of n. And use only constant extra space, but we are using big of n extra space. So we need to avoid this. So we, we should not use the uh, space. So even the solution is working fine, but we are using some extra space, uh, which is not as per the question. So what's the next approach? All right. So this is the brute force method. We, we are running a loop. We are storing uh, uh, in a dictionary. And uh, then we are running a loop on the dictionary and we will finding a key whose value is equal to one, which is by like a normal only list and uh, for loop and hash map. Hash map or you can say dictionary. These three things we used in the Python. Okay. Then we will see some, some optimal solution. Let's see the first optimal solution. So if you see, if you like how first optimal solution is, let's suppose you have some some number are given so uh, all the numbers come twice except one as an example so a come twice b come twice and then c all right so we know there is only one element who comes single time all right if we create a set from this number so set will contain the unique value so a b c the this set will be created right all right and if we sum a a b c then sum is sum will be a plus b plus c and if we multiply it by 2 then 2a plus 2b plus 2c all right we are just doing that like we are just creating a set then we sum it and then we multiply it 2a plus 2b if we subtract the sum of list given list with sum of this then we will get our missing number, our, our not missing number, the number which only comes once because 2a, 2a will cancel, 2b, 2b will cancel, 2c minus c, only one c left and then we will find our solution. So let's try to implement that. Def or let's try to implement directly here. So what we have to do is we will create a set. So set of nums, right? And then what we have to do is we have to return. What we have to do, we have to first do the sum of temp of set because it will return a, a b, c. Then we will like uh, do a plus b plus c. Then we will multiply by two and then we will minus sum of nums. And it will return the uh, our the number which is which comes only once. So let's run it. So this solution also accepted, uh, but again uh, we are using the in this we are also using the extra space uh, because here we are creating the set even though this solution is also working so but in the question it is mentioned it is it, it is mentioned we need to run in the runtime complexity even though like uh, we are not using any issues so of one but we are using some extra space but we should not use the extra space even though we can run a loop 
so what is the third solution so third solution is there is a mathematical operation that is the xor operation in the xor operation we know the same, if we do the xor of same number it will give zero right and and we will, we know all the elements come twice except one so if we do xor of all the numbers so one one will give zero two two will give zero and uh, only only that number will left which comes only once so what we can do is we can just do the xor of xor of all the numbers so how to do the xor of the number so because if we start from 4 so for 4 we have to do the 1 then 1 to 2 2 to 1 1 to 2 right so we have to do like uh, this so what we can do is we can start a loop from here and we will like uh, remove this element then 4 xor 1 then whatever the output is xor 2 whatever the output is xor 1 whatever the output xor 2 so let's try to implement that so what we have to do is so let's cal calculate the length length of numbers and we can get an element the first element first element is like uh, let's suppose 4 then we can run a loop for i in a range of 1 to n we will uh, uh, run the loop from the second number and uh, we, what we can do is we can do the xor with xor of element element means first number then nums of i second number and then we can return the element and we can also do in single line so let's try to run that okay variable i referenced before assignment okay nums of zero because we need the first element. Let's try to submit. So now we are doing in O like linear, linear constant time and uh, not linear constant, linear runtime complexity. And we are not using extra space because we are not using any extra, extra space. So this is the solution which is being expected by the uh, yeah, like which is being asked because it is being asked we need because all the three solutions are working we can do like uh, we can submit any solution but if we read the second line in the second line it is mentioned when to do in the runtime complexity linear runtime complex that is only single loop so we are running only single loop and we have to use only constant extra space constant extra space means just variables so we are using just these variables as an extra space so what we do is we are just because if there is a one element then it will not even go into this loop and it will return that particular element ELD. All right. So that's all. Uh, that's the end of the video. And you can try the uh, try the same question. It's come under the easy category only. So thank you.